Okay, so we're back at the back of the house. There is the deck from the roadside. There's the bunkhouse, the fire pit, the wood, and welcome bear. And show you some of your stuff. So there's the trellis from Lexington Drive resting on a tree. Some type of beautiful weed. There's across the road. There's your fire sign. Town of Boulder Junction, 4445 Pine Lane, but your address is 4451. <clears throat> Here's an actual really pretty flower. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's real, and it's growing. But it's all alone and lonely. And then here's some wildflowers. And here's some giant dwarves. And your American flag. I think that's Doc. That's definitely Dopey. Okay, more wildflowers. Little raised garden. And on this side over here, by the patio, there's a couple of daisies growing up really cutely across this rock to the big tree with the sign that says no parking except for Bob's wife, which is you. Here's your wood pile. You do have one dead tree down there that we're going to take care of next time we come, or maybe Scott and Geraldine will. The next time they come, it's a pine tree, right there, the brown one, yep. And there's your purpley crimson tree. There's your bunkhouse patio, and I will now open the bunkhouse doors. There's your whiz wall, that's what you called it. Here's some more stuff that Bob made, the totem pole. We'll go up this little hill here, and you can see where he used to have his vegetable garden, where he grew cucumbers, radishes, corn, carrots, beets, and anything else that he could manage to grow without the deer eating it. That's where you chop wood right across the road there because that's where you always had your wood delivered. Okay, we're in the garage now. There's Bob's John Deere. Okay, and this was the, the workroom was back there. And then you got some stuff here. Then we're gonna go through this door into the patio of the bunkhouse. And this is the door that slams like a screen door like that. Okay, so now we're in the patio at the bunkhouse. And if I get the right key, we'll go into the living area of the bunkhouse. So, for a moment, I will pan while I unlock. And voila, there's my baby crib. Because everybody needs a baby crib in the bunkhouse. Okay, table by the window, which you purposely put high so that your guests wouldn't stay in the bunkhouse and would come out to see the view. There's your king bed that you moved over here. Window out to the patio. Here's the futon, the lamp, a trunk with some queen sheets, a little bit of bookshelving, another tube TV dresser, Uncle Tom's dresser, I think you said he's got his own drawer in there. A lamp, this is where the hot plate used to be, and then we go into the bathroom. And the bathroom does also have a window that looks out onto the lake. Cabinets, very old microwave. Cabinets. There I am again. Little sink. Your shower. Your toilet that still has antifreeze in it, over John. And we're looking back out again into the bunkhouse. And...
we will go back out again. Only because we can. You have a lot of blankets at your house. That much I can say. Okay, we're gonna turn everything off and lock it up. All locked. That door is still locked. There's the lake view. Go back out into the garage. Lock her up tight. Back past the septic tank and the burn pit and the spot where the boiler used to be. Back side of the house. You can still see the lake down there. There it is. Okay. And this tree is still alive. The other tree bit the dust. And here's how you go up. This is the side door to the garage. If you don't have your car, you go in and out of there. This is your back deck that we came out on. That's your front door. And that's where Bob used to sit and play his music. Okay, and here is the Dove of Peace to end the show. Love ya!